Hey everybody, how's it going? I recently have come across a very useful workflow on openart.ai called the one-click gen of multiple shots plus multiple angles by this user called AI Movie Talk. I originally was using this to generate multiple angles and multiple shots of a person to test on my other workflows that I have been working on. So I thought, why not share this for those who are looking for something like this? So here you go. Here is the link to his work and profile. Here is the posting that I downloaded the workflow from. The details can be found here, as well as node details and model information. Down here is the running hub workflow. Please check out the creator's other workflows. He has got tons of very nice ones here to try out. As for this info, I haven't translated it yet, but I guess it is his running hub invite code in case anyone might want to try it out. Okay, next, on to the models required to run the workflow. Here are the UNET models and GGUF models download links. Choose the one that best fits for you. For the LoRa, text encoder and BAE models, they will be downloaded when you click the links. Then again, here is the link to version 2, FP8 merged file that has all models already baked in for multiple angle and consistency, including the LoRa's. I am at the time of recording still uploading it to Hugging Face. Not sure why, but it is very slow. You can try the link. If the model has successfully been uploaded, you will probably be able to download it. Otherwise, please use the regular UNET and GGUF files. Okay, next up, the checkpoint loader for multi-GPU that I will be using. I like to use my own checkpoints as it is very convenient to allocate the VRAMs to both GPUs and CPU in case I need more. Also, in many cases that I have tested, they run and load faster than split file configuration. Below are the multi-GPU loader nodes for regular split files. Remember, never set VAE to CPU. It will slow down the very last part of decoding to a standstill. Up here are the native loader nodes. Then, the resolution node from CRT nodes. If you don't wish to use it, just replace it with any empty image latent node. I find it very useful for my workflow. Okay, down here is the image loading group. It will resize the image to the resolution we want. Preview the resized image here. Here, you will find the optimizations used. This here is important. If you use regular slit files, you need to enable this group. As I am suing the AIO file, which J has all models baked in already, I will disable or bypass it to run the workflow. The easy cache node won't work well on this workflow's config, so I bypass it for now. If you use the split file loader nodes, don't forget to rewire all connections from the models accordingly. You can just follow the other links to reconnect them properly. Since I am using the checkpoint loader, I will rewire the connections as shown here. Here is one sampling node groups. It will get an edited image according to the prompt here. The translation are down here. There is altogether eight of them, so this workflow will generate eight different image scenes. This is the author's notes. As you can see, it is a long chain workflow of the same sampler nodes of a simple Quen edit workflow. Finally, here is where we save the results in a single image file. Okay, I will quickly run this. Checkpoint model loaded in 18 seconds. Here are all my VRAM usages. 
I did not have time to test on my 12 gigabyte rig as I wanted to get this workflow out soon. There are still lots of workflows to tinker with. But from past experience with Quen Image Edit AIO version 1, it was a success running on 12 gigabytes, though a bit slower. Let's see the results. Okay, it took us 3 minutes and 18 seconds for the first run. Here we see that we got lots of angles from just one image in one run. The likeness of the character is also pretty okay, I think. Looks pretty good actually, especially when the original image was created with Z image. That's it for this short intro to this useful workflow from AI Movie Talk on openart.ai. I really hope this simple workflow will be of use to some viewers. If you liked the video, please kindly like and subscribe, and maybe share this video as well. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.